citizens unite! Citizens of Earth. Citizens of Space! Citizens of Earth. <laughs> Sheeples, citizens of Earth. Trust no one. Good morning, Pumpkin. Are you still in bed? I'm coming in. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's gorgeous out. You don't want to waste the day in bed, do you? It's so early, Mom. <sighs> Come back later. Honestly, you can't spend your vacation lying in bed. And d did you sleep in your brand new suit? I had a late night. It's tough being vice president of the world. You've been in office one day. Oh, if only the voters could see you now, my son the slouch. At least go say hi to your brother. He took the day off to come and see you. You missed breakfast, by the way. Maybe you can stop by the bakery later, but don't spoil your appetite. We're having an early supper tonight. Hey, little bro. Long time no see. Good morning, um, Mr. Vice President. Gee, what do I call you now? Oh, come now. There's no need for formalities. Sir will do just fine. Oh, okay. Hey, I got you a present, sir. I left it downstairs for you. Why, little bro, you aren't trying to bribe me now that I'm in office, are you? No, of course not. It's just a little something for winning the election. Oh, that Dr. Sven's so dreamy. Ka-ching! How you like it? Pretty nifty, huh? I absolutely love it. What is it, a laptop? I'm confused. It's a tablet. It's like a phone, but bigger. You can do your big, important work on the go now, even at a coffee shop. Ah, now you're speaking my language. What's a world leader got to do to get a cup of coffee around here? I'll take you to Moonbucks. They just opened one across the street. Let's do this. Jessica's gonna get what's coming to her. Just wait and see. Who wants to rub my feet while I watch my stories? Hey, they were just about to reveal what Jack's evil twin looks like. I swear you boys are lost without your mother, huh? All right, let's get some fresh air before all my days of our bold and the restless starts. This calls for a mother's touch. Hmm? Oh, 
Check it out, Ma. My adoring public, here to congratulate me on my meteoric rise to power. Actually, um, they don't look too happy. Nonsense! That's envy, you see. This is exactly why I got into politics in the first place. So glad you're home, Mr. VP. Why, thank you. It's nice to relax after an election. You here for an autograph? The only signing that's going on is my sign and your face! Whoa, my face is my livelihood. Little bro, this is all you. Honey, you have to learn to fight your own battles one day. Hmm? Uh-huh. Good luck. Another victory for the I VP. Knew I could do it. All right, here we go. You like that, huh? Ha! Impressive! Why me? Ooh! Ouch! You're I've got your back, bro! Mother knows best! Much too old Watch for out. this. Yeah. Impressive. <laughs> I've got your back, bro. Never doubted you for a second. Mr. Vice President, do you have time for an interview? What's on your mind, sir? How's it feel to be home now that you've won the election, sir? It was a hard election, and our opponents did well. I'm just glad I get to finally visit my mother now. How sweet. Keeping in touch with your roots, huh? That always looks good in the polls. The polls are great and all, but I just wanted to drop off my laundry. Three months on the road, this stuff piles up. Oh, I see. So tell me, what's the secret to that fabulous hair and your signature smile? Simple, really. Two handfuls of product and a whole lot of baking soda. I swear I don't think some of these protesters have bathed in days. We got these barricades up so this doesn't spread to the rest of town. Sorry, but you can't pass. 
It does? Well, well okay then. Move along. Uh, nothing to see here. Imagine the headlines. VP steals car. Thanks, but no thanks. You look like a man who knows where to get a good, strong sarsaparilla. You're in luck, my friend. I own the local soda shop. But to be honest, I think I'll just stay here all day. This iced special blend is drinking quite well today. Guys with beards don't like being disturbed from their coffee. I'll leave him be. This protest is interrupting school. Oh well. Preposterous! Let me see what I can do about this. I don't mind, so long as I got this delicious special blend. Either he's one of those caffeine junkies you hear about, or something weird's going on here. Psst. Hey, come here. Huh? Yeah, you! What can I do for you, taxpayer? I don't pay taxes. I also don't drink the coffee. Neither should you. Taxes and coffee are two of my favorite things. They contaminated the coffee. Can't you taste it? It's so dark and aromatic. Bold, even. Too bold. I was abducted once, you know. Aliens. They ran tests on me. Back in Uranus. They walk among us, don't you get it? Don't things seem just a little bit off to you? We need proof. It's the only way. Proof and a refill. Lots of refills. Here's what we'll do. You go find proof while I head to the police station. I'm good at talking, so let me handle that. You can track down evidence. Sound good? Stay strong, brother. La la la. Hello? Oh, sorry. My mind was just drifting away from me there. Is something wrong? Not really. Just waiting for my manager to come in. He's never late. But oh well, I'm sure he's fine. Hmm? Hey, Pipsqueak, why don't you watch where I'm going? <laughs> Do you have any idea who I am? You can't talk to the Vice President of the World like that. The Vice who? What now? Sounds like a made-up pageant to me. It's called an election. I won, so you have to do what I say. Tough guy, huh? You entered some contest and won, and you think you're better than me. You're just lucky I didn't enter. What was your talent, anyhow? Being short and flabby? <laughs> It wasn't some muscle show-off extravaganza. This is the real world, pal. Politics. Psh. Well, if you got what it politics, stop by my gym sometime. We'll see who's the tough guy. Later, bro. Bro? What an absolute oaf. Although, an oaf with some pretty impressive golden locks. Hello, what's your business here today? Do you have something to report? I had to lock up your little friend. He was raving about conspiracies and making people uncomfortable. I don't like that in my city. You know, there's a small chance he's on to something. Really? Well, if you can bring me some solid evidence, I'll consider letting him out. Hello, what's your business? Do you have something to report? Hey, why don't you come with us? We could use the law on our side. Thank you, but this entire area is one bad sneeze away from chaos. I can't abandon my post. Unless maybe you want to lend a hand or something. Hmm? Hmm?
Please, please, out of my shop! Big Bertha's not for sale! You know how many hungry protesters I got out there? This backwater town's got nothing but donuts and coffee, and I gotta feed them somehow! Now, are you gonna sell me that comically jumbo donut or not? You wouldn't want that mob to start protesting you, would ya? Well, hey, did it get good looking in here, or was that just me? The man of the hour arrives! You got courage showing your face around here. You mean in a bakery? Well, carbs are my weakness. Speaking of weakness, I hope there's no hard feelings about the election. Better luck next time? Tell me, have you been enjoying my demonstration since you came home? I have. It's nice seeing my face all over town. And here I thought you might be a sore loser. You haven't noticed your face is crossed out on those signs? You... You got my face crossed out, but there's those no signs. I thought it's a double negative, like, don't cross my face out. <laughs> I'm giving a speech later by Mount Pom Pom. You should drop by. And this isn't over, Tubby. I'll be back for that donut. <laughs> Phil, come in! How can I help you? Huh? You want something to munch on? Come back soon! Hey, youngin! Let's chat for a spell! What can I do you for? Hello there, young lady. Oh, who you calling young? I was building barns before your grandma was even born. Whoa, how old are you? Let's see. Plus seven, carry the one, carry the two, hat adds ten years. Don't worry about all that. All you should worry about is this. Holy democracy, this looks delicious. I know, right? Who'd have thought you could plant a donut? Um, well, not me, but that's genius. It's sustainable, too. You bring me a few donut pieces, and I can plant more donut crops. Hmm. Cha-ching! All right, here we go. Yeah. I've got your back, bro. You like that, huh? I've got your back, bro. Another victory for the VP. I knew I could do it. Ah, I'm finally here, the Galactic Federation. Oh, smell that sweet interplanetary diplomacy. I've waited for this moment my whole life. This is my chance to make a name for myself, to put my charisma and rugged charm to the ultimate test. The chance to represent Earth on the biggest stage of all. The chance to... You be forgetting the chance to pay your fare. Quite right. That'll be 75 pieces of eight, chap. Ah! 75! 75! Ah! 
Don't you mean galactic credits? Besides, I thought ambassadors rode free. Aye? And what planet be ye representing, matey? Do you mean to imply you're the ambassador from Earth? <coughs> you? <coughs> <laughs> you must forgive me for that. I try to control it. I truly do. Well, I'm technically not the ambassador yet. I'm here for my swearing-in ceremony. Hmm. If ye haven't been inducted, ye pay your fare like all the other build rats. Hand over the booty! Aye, aye, Captain. Now off with ye. I have hoop decks to be swabbing. Right. As I was saying, this is my big break. Finally, I'll be... There you are, sir. Ah, my first fan. Are you from Earth too, little buddy? I... well... I am, but... <gasps> and you came all this way for my swearing in. This'll be the largest inauguration crowd since... well, since ever. I'm touched. Sir. Please, there's no need for formalities. Just call me. Sir, I am not your fan. Then what are you doing here? I'm your new assistant. Uh, well, an assistant's just a fan who gets paid, so I was basically right. Moving on. You have a very busy day ahead of you, sir. But of course. I'm sure the assembly is eagerly awaiting my inaugural address. I'm not sure eager is the right word. They slotted it in during one of their scheduled bathroom breaks. Wonderful! Bathrooms are known for their acoustics after all. Oh, you'll love this. There was this one time I was rehearsing a speech in the shower for my rubber ducky entourage, <laughs> when suddenly... Um, I'd love to stick around and listen to your bathroom stories, sir, but I should really go get everything ready for your address. By the way, I picked up your ambassador ID badge for you. If you could just sign here. Seriously, that's your name? I think I'll just stick to calling you sir. Anyway, feel free to explore the station if you want, and come to the assembly when you're in the mood to orate. I'm on the job! Which way now? I'm on the job! So long, friends. Here we are. Now let's see. Where to next? Where to next? What's that? Oh? Everybody's waiting for you, Mr. Ambassador. Are you ready for your speech? Ready? Ha! <laughs> I was born ready. Well, actually, I was born a few weeks late. And for some reason, I started coming out butt first, so the doctors had to rotate me and... The speech, sir. The speech? Let's get in there. All right, sir. Show me what you can do. 
Just watch and learn, little buddy. You might not have been my fan before, but you sure will be after this. Greetings, my fellow ambassadors! It is with great pride and humility that I stand before you today on behalf of the beautiful planet of Earth. All of us on that blue sphere we call home are truly grateful that you have chosen us to join the Galactic Federation. And I am honored to accept my new role as the very first ambassador of Earth. Now I know many of you are not familiar with our fine planet, but rest assured it has already provided great benefit to the galaxy at large. Why, even the Moonbox coffee you're all slurping on right now had its humble beginnings on the serene streets of Earth. But why tell you when I can just show you? Behold, Earth! Is that it? Looks pretty small. Did we really accept this Earth into the Galactic Federation? Wait, wait, wait. That's not Earth at all. What's going on here? Psst. Didn't you see the ticker, sir? Earth has gone missing! Missing, huh? <laughs> I'm glad we're here and not there. Sir? Oh, uh, <clears throat> what I meant to say was, we need to find our beloved Earth. To that end, my bureaucratic brethren, I implore you, lend me a ship so that I may put an end to this grave injustice. First they asked to join the Federation. Now they want a ship? Those Earth creatures are never satisfied. Order! Order in the assembly! The Earthling has put forth a motion. Are there any seconds? <clears throat> Motion to grant the Earth fling a ship. Denied. Denied? But bureaucracy has never failed me before. If nothing else, let me leave the ceremony early so I can go investigate. <sighs> The Earthling has put forth another motion, this time asking to leave. Are there any seconds? One, two, three... Actually, that's everyone. Permission to the part granted! Success! I guess I was wrong about your charm. It seems you've gotten us kicked out in record time. Kicked out? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I asked to leave. But now's not the time to argue semantics. We need to go find Earth. Next up, the ambassador from Tropical is requesting a license for a glamorous new resort. Our first day and the Earth is missing. Do you know what this means? We're out of a job? Wrong you are, my pint-sized pal. We now have the most important job there is. Saving Earth! Will that cover my salary or... Yeah, we can worry about all those boring numbers later. For now, we need a ship. Maybe our nautically inclined friend from before can lend us a claw. What? You mean the guy who didn't believe you were even an ambassador? One and the same. Gee, this whole incident will be one for the history books, huh? Assuming we even find the history books when we get the Earth back, that is. <laughs> anyway, I can tell you won't be able to do this alone. I'm coming with you. But no more jokes about my height, okay? Jokes? I wouldn't dream of it. By the way, do you think the captain would give you a children's discount? <sighs> I hope I don't regret this. The plot thickens. Which way now? All in a day's work. Where to next? Rise and shine. Now let's see.
Now let's see. Here we are. Where to next? Ahoy there, Mr. Ambassador. I heard your speech at the assembly. Aye, it brought a tear to me crusty old eyes, it did. Anywho, what can we be doing for ye? I need to get to Earth. Or, well, where the Earth used to be, I guess. I don't really know anymore. Ye be confused, eh? Not that it matters. We won't be shoving off like this. We're marooned on account of my running afoul of the foulest foul in town, Quack McCool. How long has he been waiting to say that? Quack McCool, huh? Hey, that scurvy dog bank rolls all the shadiest businesses around. Or should I say scurvy duck? And how exactly does a bus driver get involved with someone like that, hmm? Err... That dastard wanted us to smuggle Moonbuck's special blend to the caffeine-free reaches of the galaxy. Naturally, we refused. But instead of backing down, this McCool fellow pulled some bureaucratic strings and had our license revoked. Departure is impossible without his express permission. This sounds like a job for... Security? Hey, that's a good idea! Where can we find them? He best not bother. The cowards won't touch a single feather on his head! Hmm, in that case, I'll act as the ambassador between you and this McCool. <sighs> it would be nice to be the ambassador of something now that Earth is gone. A fine idea, boyo! Why don't I come along too? I'll prove to ye I still have some strength left in these old bones. Let's sail the stars, lad! Don't party just yet. Now let's see. I'm on the job. Here we are. Please, not the lab. Anywhere but the lab. Sorry, but a duck's got to do what a duck's got to do. And what a duck's got to do is collect dues. Doo doos, overdoo doos, under doo doos, every doo that's ever been dooed. And it just so happens you're due for collecting. You, sir, please help us! We're in no position to be paying those ducks! We can barely fund our research as it is! I'll see what I can do, friend. I won't let that dastardly duck stand in the way of progress. Wait, there's more? Now let's see. Hurry, please! My friends at the lab need your help! Leave it to me! Which way now? Which way now? An ambassador never forgets to save.